I see what these boys do, man. It's J Audio 8W7. The meter is in the uh, kick. I'm right now holding it 14.6. Let y'all see that. The meter's in the kick. You know, I like transparency. The meter's in the kick. See it down there. Voltage is at 14.6. Only the driver's door is open. Crack. Let y'all see it. Like I say, these are not SPL subs. These are sound quality drivers. So I'm not looking for them to do anything close to 140. I just want them to sound good and see how low they can go. This is William Murphy, Seller here, part two. Might as well do a Christian theme song. Get, get some goodness in you. Stop putting all that BS in you. Have your bobby head making you feel good, but killing you at the same time. This really going to uplift your spirit. Let's go. Started at 20. Roll into it.
0.94 at 39 hertz. So as you can see, I was showing y'all. I think I showed y'all I had the epicenter like at 10. So we couldn't, if I applied more of that, I'd take some of that power down. So this is just one week out. One week out, we're going to, I pretty much think that I can't any apply any more power without destroying them. If you go back and listen to this video, you will hear them begin to, all right, two or three times it popped. It popped, so I was I was stretching it, but they survived. I mean, enough. They 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 minutes. Arguably, this is a 140 on far less power than everybody else because I only have two, so it's a three on voice core, which means I'm only wired down to 1.5 before rise. When a good rise kick in, I'm definitely gonna be over two, so it's only gonna be 1500 watts, possibly or more on dynamic going to them, and then I'm not even using the full signal there. And as you can see, my voltage was holding, holding steady, so they were doing fine. But as I went to try to deploy more power, give them more power, when I set it back the second time and tried to move that the diesel designs and give it more power, that's when they popped. But it took the score up, but that's when they popped. So I wouldn't recommend you doing that. It's Definitely, two of them will definitely do more, will let people hear you before they see you. Like I tell you, like I've said all the time, 134 to 136 is plenty loud for a truck. People will hear you from a from a vast distance. Uh, it held 138 for a long time, did that comfortably. People will hear you for a long way with two of them. They are pricey. I mean, I think they're listed at 699 Uh I believe if I tune the box lower, they will be even more musical. They're very musical now, but when I say musical, it will be able to hit more of the lower notes and me be able to utilize my epicenter and tune it down. Uh, as it stands right now, I don't want to do that because I don't want to destroy them. I might do one more video showing you they play how they play below tuning. Uh, but like I said, now they're going to be able to maintain that pressure. And this is a driver that, yes, the technology that they have is used today and y'all think that's company or those companies doing have done something this is a 20 year old design has not changed in 20 years that in that fish i hope that it's information you can use um like i said I'm, it's it is a sq king sq king sounds phenomenal uh i think that's it man i got nothing else to say peace <laughs>